Welcome to Colorline Online Training Series. This is Frank. Today's topic is loading capacity. This topic will talk about what is the loading capacity, what factors will affect the loading capacity, and the loading capacity of each series in our control system. We hope this class will help you to develop knowledge about controller and learn how to calculate the loading capacity in different projects. We will not go too deep on particular topics, and it will be very easy to understand. Because this group is large, I might be unable to open everyone's microphone. Please tie your cushion in the chart window as the pictures showed. We got our support team who are standing by answering your questions came across the chart window. Today's training will take around 20 minutes. Then we will leave the remaining time for answering some of the questions at the end. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube to check our recorded videos. All right, I appreciate everyone's appreciation here. Let's get started today's training. Before we start to explain that what is the loading capacity, let's see the pictures. How to calculate the load the resolution of a cabinet. I think this is very easy for most of you guys. But maybe some of us have just joined this LD industry. So I want to introduce this concept to them. Yuri, we will get those information from the manufacturer, module or cabinet dimension, and pixel pitch. Pixel pitch is the distance from an LD to the next LD. The unit is millimeters. When the cabinet dimension is divided by the pixel pitch, we can easily calculate how many pixels on width and height. For example, there is a P3.9 cabinet, which is widely used in rental project. The size is 500 by 500 millimeters. After calculating, we can get the result of the resolution. It is 128 by 128. So, what is the loading capacity in LD control system? There is two different pitch of the cabinets. The first one is P1.9. The resolution is 256 by 256. Another one is P3.9. The resolution is 128 by 128. The dimension of these two cabinets are the same. They are all 500 by 500. When we do the mapping on the software, as the picture on your right hand, we just follow the resolution of the cabinet, not the physical size. So for the control system, Dimension is not a factor to consider for us and won't affect the loading capacity. We only focus on the pixels. If you are not using our control system for the first time, you should hear about the limitation of each output port is 650,000 pixels. It means the maximum load loading capacity for one Ethernet cable. What is the basic for calculated total pixels? In control system, there is work called control areas, like the blue rectangle. It is the rectangular area from the start point in the upper left to the pixel in the lower right. For example, there is no cabinet on the lower right here, but the blank areas will also eat pixels. So the total pixel of port 1 will be considered as 8 cabinets by the software. In the same way, there is 8 cabinet in port 2. We can see that 
the software will also eat all the pixels in blank area even though there's no cabinet in those parts. So the total loading capacity is 16 cabinets for this part. As long as the total number of the pixel in the control areas is not over 650,000 pixels, then the system can display the screen correctly. For sure, different device has a restriction on width and height. We will talk about different device capacity on the second part. Perhaps you might be interested in why this number is 650,000 pixels. Why cannot be 6 million or more? Currently, the control system is based on network communications. Network cable transmission had those advantages, stable, long distance, and high-speed transmission. The transmission distance of CAT5E can reach 100 meters. The maximum, the maximum transmission speed is 1 gigabyte. Let's see. There is a formula to calculate the maximum loading capacity. The maximum bandwidth of Ethernet cable is fixed, 1 gigabyte. The usage, the usage rate means how many percentage of 1 gigabyte can be used to transmit data. The data is transmitted in the form of data pack, like this, like the blue rectangle. The red part is the head of a packet. It will tell the receiving card that the data is ready, ready to be received. The orange, orange, orange part is the data. The green part is the end of packet. When the receiving card recognizes this part, it will start to receiving data. Also, there will be many interval time between each package. The white color part. If we remove all those interval time, head, and the end of package, the red is the the rest is the data. It's around. 90% of total bandwidth. So keep going and check the formula. The maximum capacity for one output port is transmission bandwidth multiplied by use, usage rate, then divided by the frame rate and color depth. Normally, the frame rate is calculated according to 60 Hz. During the 8-bit input source, we know that each pixel is composed of three colors, red, green, and blue. So the data of one pixel is 24 bits. Finally, we will get the result is around 650,000 pixels. That's how this number came from. As we know the preview formula of rolling capacity, there are two main factors that affect the maximum capacity, frame rate and the color depth of the input source. In theory, if you reduce the frame rate to 50 or 30 Hz, each output port can handle more pixels. But in order to ensure the image's quality and performance, we will recommend that the maximum loading capacity should not exceed 650,000 pixels. In some special application, like the Active 3D, the video frame frame rate will reach to 120 Hz. In this case, if the frame rate is double, 
So the loading capacity is only a half of the original. When we are making a, a project for 3D, we need to double the number of controllers. Color diff is another factor affecting loading capacity. As the color diff increased, each pixel means more data need to be transmitted. For example, if the video frame rate increased from 8 bit to 10 bit, the image will get more details, but the amount of data for each color is increased and the pixel capacity is reduced. In our system, the video color dips is increased to the 10 bit. The loading capacity of each output part is 75% of the 8 bit. The second part. I will introduce the different loading capacity in our product line and show how to choose controllers through a simple case. Firstly, we are talking about X-Series. X-Series is big sender in color light, which can realize that the spring video source on a screen pixel by pixel and there is no video processing function built in. Currently, there are three modules in X series. X2 has two outputs, X4 has four, and X6 have had six outputs and 2.5 gigabytes fiber output. Let's take a look at this graphic. They are rep repressively Road with 1.3 million pixels and 2.3 million pixels. About S6F, it has the same capacity as S4. In some fine pitch projects, it had the advantage of wiring with six outputs. So we don't need to add another sender when the resolution we think 2K. You may have the questions, why the capacity of two output pods is 1.3 million pixel? The X4 with four output pods is 2.3 million pixel, but not 2.6 million. Let's see these pictures. Think of the device signal interface as a tap and a water pipe one. The water is came from here. The maximum resolution of a single link DVI-D is 1920 by 1200 pixels. The water pipe 2 is the output of X4 sender. And the total pixels of 4 output is 2.6 million pixels. Because the input resolution limits the output resolution, so the loading capacity of the X4 and X6F is 2.3 million pixels. X series processor is integrated with sender and video processor, and on X16. Is integrated with the spricer. Let's have a quick look on some typical module from X series X2X, X4X, XA, and X16. They are designed for different resolution of the screen from the half of 2K to the 4K resolution. The main difference of those products is the quantity of the output pods. Because of the scaling feature, the maximum loading capacity 
of X4X is up to 2.6 million pixels. On your right hand, there is the restriction on width and height. For example, X16, the, the maximum width and height is this one. So you don't need a spricer when the total pixel of width is less than 81.92 pixels. The last series is Z series. Basically, Z series has three members, Z4, Z6, and the Z6 Pro. Compared with the X series, Z series provide more high-end features like HDR, low latency, and 3D. Z4 is entry-level 2K processor, and it can handle 2.6 million pixels. Z4 can handle 8.3 million pixels. The maximum, the maximum resolution is 3840 by 2160. Z6 Pro is an advanced processor. It has four optical fiber output ports instead of the Ethernet ports. Two for the main, two for the backup. Each fiber connector uses 10, giga 10 gigabytes. So the maximum loading capacity is 8.8 .8 million pixels. And more details about Z series or X series, you can follow us on YouTube Color Light Technology and watch the preview videos. So today we don't show too much details on this topic. Finally, I want to share you with a simple case, how to achieve the best solution in consideration of the resolution and cost. Let's check the screen information, the dimension, pixel pitch, and whole screen is five by five cabinet. We can get the re resolution of the cabinet and the whole screen by calculating here. Whole screen is 1920 by 1080. It is a standard 2K resolution. But we may find a problem. There is five columns in the whole screen and one upper part can ha cannot handle two columns. It is overloading. It is costly if we choose two pieces of X4 senders to handle this project. Also, we need a HDMI splitter in front of two senders. <coughs> Therefore, the X6F sender meet this kind of requirement. Let's take a look on this mapping diagram. Five network cables are used to distribute the routing. Each output port is 5 cabinet. For end users, they don't need to buy another device and easily to set up those kind of fine pitch projects. Alright, that's gonna to be all for today's training. In the remaining time, if you have any questions about this training, Please send your question to the chat window or raise your hand in the software so that we can unmute you. Thank you.